This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Big energy merchants trading oil cargoes that form the basis of the Brent benchmark have used an obscure clause to reroute U.S. shipments from Europe, in a practice that raises doubts over whether reforms to the crude price marker have succeeded. Brent, the most significant benchmark across commodity markets, is used to price more than 60% of globally traded crude and underpins oil futures. Its value affects fuel prices paid by consumers and businesses. The 2023 edition of U.S. crude to the benchmark had the potential to limit the scope for trading plays that can distort Brent prices, analysts said at the time. But the reroutings have renewed concern in the market about how well the benchmark reflects supply and demand. Oil prices jumped by over a dollar on Wednesday due to rising concerns Middle East tensions could escalate, potentially disrupting crude output from the region, following Iran's biggest ever military blow against Israel. Brent futures leapt $1.08, or 1.47%, to $74.64 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude spiked $1.12, or 1.6%, to $70.95 at 0650-GMT. During trading on Tuesday, both crude benchmarks surged more than 5%. Oil markets were largely focusing on the narrative of a weakening global economic outlook denting demand for fuel, said Priyanka Sakdeva, senior market analyst at Philip Nova. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Russia will increase oil exports via its western ports to 2.2 million barrels per day, BPD, in October, slightly up from September, as domestic refineries will increase runs only marginally despite coming out of the peak maintenance season, two trade sources said on Tuesday. Reuters sources said previously that though several plants will finish maintenance in October suggesting lower availability of crude oil for exports, others may decrease throughput after running at capacity to compensate for refinery outages across Russia in previous months. Also several revisions in refinery maintenance schedules may result in higher idle refining capacity in October, the sources said. An OPEC Plus panel is unlikely this week to recommend any changes to its current deal to reduce production and to start unwinding some cuts from December. Despite recent sharp declines in oil prices, five sources from the producer group told Reuters. Top ministers from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and Allies led by Russia, or OPEC Plus as the group is known, will hold an online joint ministerial monitoring committee meeting on Wednesday at 1200 GMT. Although the oil market situation is a bit complicated, I do not expect a new decision or any change to the OPEC Plus agreement in Wednesday's meeting, one of the sources said, declining to be identified. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Copper prices gained on Wednesday as China's stimulus measures brightened demand prospects, while rising oil prices due to the escalating Middle East conflict also lent support to the market. Three month copper on the London Metal Exchange, LME, rose 0.1% to $9,986.50 per metric ton by 0724 GMT. Aluminium edged up 0.3% at $2,655.50 and nickel climbed 1.2% to $17,930. LME zinc increased 0.5% to $3,163.50. Lead advanced 0.6% to $2,121 a ton, while tin eased 0.2% to $33,800. Physical demand for gold across key markets has tumbled as prices continue to rise, with some retail consumers opting to sell their holdings and book the profit, industry players and analysts said. Spot gold rose to a record $2,685.42 per ounce on September 26 and has gained around 29% so far this year, heading for the biggest annual gain in 14 years, fueled by the start of US Federal Reserve interest rate cuts and geopolitical tensions. Physical demand in general is super low everywhere now, said Robin Colvenbach, head of Swiss-based refinery Argor Heraeus SA. There was a spike in demand in August when India cut its import duty, 
but since then it has gone completely dead again. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Malaysian palm oil futures edged higher on Wednesday, driven by gains in crude oil prices after Iran's ballistic missile strike on Israel stoked fears of a wider conflict in the Middle East. The benchmark palm oil contract for December delivery on the Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Exchange was up 39 ringgit, or 0.97%, at 4,045 ringgit, $972.59, a metric ton at the midday break. The contract rose 1.8% in overnight trade. The market opened higher, buoyed by firmer crude oil prices on the Middle East news, a Kuala Lumpur-based trader said. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.